Holy crap. So that one, there was actually a storm line there and it's gone. That's crazy. Yeah, that one there, you could tell it was just redone. Right, right. And it had actually been crushed at one time. It kind of looked like similar to this one, uh -huh. but man, there was only probably an inch or two gap for that one. And then this one here was awful, or this one here wasn't as bad, I meant. That one there was awful. Yeah, this is starting to. This one's starting to collapse, ain't it? Yeah, that right there, same as over there. I got, I got this out of the mouth of this one. Wow. It's like a. That's amazing. Oh, out of this one here? Uh -huh. Yikes. See this, this, this is the inlet. There's no difference between the inlet and the basin. No, I do not. This is shallow, but probably only about this deep. Oh, okay. It comes here, which is a basin, which is probably 10 to 12 feet deep. Right. And that's probably, and that needs, that one needs to be cleaned. That one over there needs to be cleaned. All the basins, the inlets are clean, the basins need to be cleaned. Right. And this is gonna need more work too. Yeah, it's all sinking there. But this, this is not. I think it's a 30 inch storm line. Yeah, the thing that happened through here was last night, all this was flooded through here, uh -huh. and it was up probably about, I'd say about four to six inches through here. And every big rainstorm we get, it floods. And everybody through here will have uh, drain problems. So like, it'll go back, like the house next door to us is empty now because the guy moved out, he got fed up with it and he would snake his drains all the time. Mm -hmm. I have to keep snaking mine. What happens when these get clogged up, they overflow and then it shoots back into our houses. Well, see, that's, that's the problem. They, they shouldn't do that because this is a separated system. At least ours does, yeah, on both our you same side. It's supposed yeah. to be separated. Yeah. Unless there's <clears throat> at least some, when construction was done, they tapped it into the storm mm -hmm. instead of the sanitary. That's a possibility I've seen it done for. <clears throat> But See, like all the rainwater and stuff mm -hmm. for our back drain, it's all connected to our main drain. It goes under our house and through the front. So our back door where our drain is comes upward and then it connects to our actual main drain, which goes down, right? So ours was flowing just smoothly yesterday. And then once that big storm hit and it was flooded here, mm -hmm. all of it came back up, flooded our whole house, damaged everything. I was the one that was on the news about it. It oh, keeps happening. Oh, well, it keeps Mr. happening. Grimes, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. Tracy. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, that's it. Just keeps happening over and over, and that's the problem. And the thing is, like, I've had this drain snake many, many times, and I talked to another plumber guy this morning uh -huh. about it. He's like, I mean, you did all the right things, but you know, we could run a camera through it. That's why I said, you know, I don't want nobody running a camera through it. I was pacing my come out and do it. But well, let me, let me and like let me, you let see me, the let me, let me enlighten you on something real quick. Good from here. Yeah. Sanitary sewer. Mm-hmm. To the sidewalk mm -hmm. is well, or here is right away. Mm -hmm. Well, we can televise this if we, if we want. Then you're responsible from, let's say, the curb all the way to the house. <laughs> right. Uh, that's what I've heard too on the, on our verticals. That's kind of, see, that, and that's new. That's new for citizens because when I was with the city for 28 years, yeah. No matter what, homeowner was responsible from the main to the house. Right. And it's not that way anymore. Mm -hmm. We we take care of this part here. Right. The branch is coming off the sanitary line. So I even heard contractors now, whenever you hire them, they'll come out and do your vertical and they'll even go out to the street now because contractors can usually do it. That's what I hear. They're not, well, see, that's what I'm saying. Really, they're not supposed to anymore. Really? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. uh, a money game for your plumbers because yeah. they got to get permits. They got to do everything else to go in the street yeah. to where we don't have to. Right. So, well, I, you know, I'll admit, I mean, over the years, you know, what you're going through your lines and they're old clay pipes or something like that you're going to get some roots exactly. and we're going to do it but i've done it five times this summer has anybody ever suggested putting a backflow preventer on your line we had a newer system on ours ours did have an outflow or the uh, outside one here the actual uh inlet so you could actually drain it mm -hmm. or clean it out it had a clean out on the outside and it was newer pvc so i know it was fairly updated but now that's buried in dirt but when I came, or when I was leaving this morning, when I talked to you on the phone, mm -hmm. my black uh, hoses right there yeah, for my gunners, I don't understand that someone part. pulled those off last night because they were on there. When mm -hmm. that news guy came, he saw them. Yeah. All that was on. Someone pulled them off, and my back one I know was on because my back one's still on. I have a back one also, and it's it's forever long because I know <laughs> that's got to be away from my house because that could be a problem. That could flood your base of your right, house. Right. Like when I had our adjuster come out, 
You know, these guys came out, we had the state come out, it was an assistance program to help save on energy. They came out, they put those in. They're the ones that put those in. So, you know, a few times one had got a little loose and I put right. them on there. You can see how high I got it yep. shoved up on there. Sure do. <laughs> I am all they record me putting them back on this morning, man. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so I don't know why that was pulled off, but I know that was on there last night. That was not the problem. Yeah. But this here, it has to rain good, but these, these lines, when it's flooding up, it will flood up. Like you said, it's usually supposed to be separate lines, but it's flooding up. I don't know what's going on, but he showed me last time when my stuff was flooding, he opened up the end down there and you've seen everything flowing real good. You know what I mean? And last night, if everything was flowing real good, it wouldn't have been built up here. And I got videos of Rich Hart Street right, out here. They've done construction on that. What you had, I, I seen you on this, my man, it's good potential. That's all right. Okay, is it? I'm not going to use the politically correct. Are you getting shit in your house or is it rain? It's rainwater. I'm getting rainwater in my house. Like, that's why I got on the video last night. If you watch the news. Is that where you had the towel or one of the striped towels? I was drying, drying up, up wet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was drying up wet water. But if you get online, you'll see the video on the news again. Watch, it's still I there. Up, I looked this morning. Wish TVA. Would, yeah, it wouldn't let me look get it on. up. Look okay. it up. You'll see, you'll see dirt, filth, just, it just adding up on my floor. See, that's, see, that's, that's the, that's not why I'm making sense. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. When it's they not, come out, they come out. And they check. When they say you have a backup, they check the sanitary yeah, sewer. Yeah. They say it's down a flowing. Right. But if you're getting clear water, there's there's either a cross connection somewhere, or they installed you wrong into the storm line. Right. Because you, you, I ain't gonna lie. You should have shit in your house. Right. Right. No, I mean I've had a problem like that once uh -huh. before. You know, and that's when we had our snakes done uh -huh. quite a few times, like she said. Over the last seven years, it's been a five-year process now that this has been going on. This just got fixed. This just got fixed. And that was like, man, how long was that like that since you moved in? It was messed up. Total wreck, man. This whole entire set, the scepter right here was caved in. You see how that one over there sank? Right, right. And then from your opinion, your professional opinion, this one was, I'm telling you, dude, it was only like that high. Probably. Right. But I mean, that looks good now. You know. That one was so bad that it blew out my tire once. Because it was one of those old types, right? That had the point on it. You just it bumped was, up it against was, it or something. It, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like that's that's what, absolutely, it was broken. That's, that's like it was why they broken. don't use those anymore. Yeah. They go to these. Yeah, but it was The only thing bad about these is down. you got to come out and every once in a while clean the stuff in front of yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, but that one's going, we'll get that one replaced, that one replaced, that one replaced. That man will has to come up because we can't check to see what's going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, they can't so tell us it's the line. I found that one over there. Right. But I mean... I was even gonna put a little petition together, man. I'll give it to you, but I'm gonna tell you, neighbor, like this guy here, this is slab house, mm -hmm. pretty much. You know what I mean? He, his uh, drains and all that are they back up every time it floods out here. When it floods, See, that's just a mess. His, I know. Like, I, I don't understand it. We can't use our upstairs it. bathrooms. Yes, our it floods bathrooms. when it backs up. Our whole entire system, like I said, if it's coming back up through our basement, right, if through our waistline area. Well, of course, the upstairs is not going to drain because the main pipes that are hooked can't. together, yeah. they have nowhere to go. So whenever you flush the toilets upstairs, it's leaking out the toilets, and it's pissing through the ceiling, and it's coming down on our roof upstairs. Because we can't do basement. anything about it. This has been a reoccurring problem, and like I said, you know, well, I yeah, understand. I, I, just, I live over at 34th and Franklin. Yeah. I know it was raining. Are you Arthur? Yeah, yeah okay. it's Arthur. Yeah. And, and, I mean, it's been bad. I mean. Well, like, it was so bad, like, last night. <clears throat> Like, we have a drain by our back door. Mm -hmm. And our back door literally was pouring water. Like, not to be funny, but it looked like something on the Titanic. Like, when, you know, all the water was busting is your, is, is in, your, it was like is that. Is your back door, is it, is it downstairs? Yes. Yeah. Because your house is almost exactly like mine. But I, I've got a by level. That's but, what yeah. this is. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's a living do. quarters downstairs and upstairs. Yeah, that's what Yeah, I you think. either go up or down. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a lot of homes are like that, you know, with these style homes. But... You know, that's our living quarters too, and our mm -hmm. bedroom's down there, and we got a lot of expensive stuff down there, and it's all gotten ruined. And this is not the first time it's done it. And it just keeps happening. We're like, man, something's gotta be done. And every time I call, they're like, it's your problem. It's pretty much all they keep telling me, your problem. The guy that came out here and checked that, your problem, man. That's all you that's keep telling me. See, the insurance I I told us say that. They're, they're still new at this job, because, you know, citizens only took over three years ago. Yeah. So they're still they're still learning everything. They, they yeah. don't know, but they're. That, trust me, they're a lot better than they used to be. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I'm, 
I'm going to clean from here all the way down to Richard. I'm yeah. going to televise it. I'm also going to televise the storm because what you're saying, you should have, pardon me, you should have shit in your house. We have, many okay. times. We have. Okay. Yeah, we've Today so we, we don't, but we have a shit ton of dirt, and when you walk in, you can see sitting dirt from this all the This time, you can in. see the actual rainwater coming in. Mm -hmm. That was rainwater. And where it is, like you said, you know, if we haven't really, if our, because this is what I'm saying, our drains were working excellent until the storm happened. So we're not going to have shit water in our house because our drains were working fine. So once it flooded out here, uh -huh. bam, everything went back into there's our got, house see, and it was rain water. There has water. to be a cross connection somewhere. There has to be. Because these, like I said, these are separate. You yeah. should only, only waste should go in one and storm should go in the other. That's the, right. that's the way it's set up. It just, it happens, man. So and we've had a few times, like, where it was our drain, like, in the laundry room, mm -hmm. where, again, the feces and stuff like that has came up. Yeah. Last night, it was, every time this storm's real bad, you will tell, like, I, I, I was telling the news and stuff, we had, either way you go, if you live over here, you know, yep. mm -hmm. either way you go, it's flooded. Mm -hmm. You yep. go this way, you have to, to get out, it's high water. Yeah. You go that way, and there's a bridge down there, and you can't get through that either. And then you'll see... Like these, where it's spitting water up like fountains when it's flooded. Yeah, like it goes I seen that yesterday too. High. It's shooting it out the thing like it like it's a broken water. Yes, yeah, it looks like three, I'm, four I'm feet not high. Lying. The water through like here. I'm taking pictures. If I can of course, this is deep, so water's right. gonna be about this high. Okay. But it was flooded all the way across, okay. all the way on up to the street there, touching my car. Okay, my phone was dead. Our power went out. I was trying to charge the phone. I was wanting to take videos of this stuff. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. I'm not lying. And I'm driving through here. My car has been having problems starting today because of where we got stuck in this stuff last night. Now, you've seen 38th Street and Shadeland on the news, right? Yep. That stuff was so bad it was sinking through the doors of my car. That's how, there was a car stuck in the ditch over there where he got ran off the road with water. And it happened again, like, what, two months ago with a little pickup truck? With yeah. A truck a little bit smaller than that, like a Dakota. But, I mean, well, everybody keeps saying, it's, it's your lateral, it's your lateral. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll snake it, I'll check it, I'll snake it. You know, I'll keep putting, you know, these snakes down there, and it, it'll come out little bit of root very little root i mean nothing to even That's affect okay. it let, let me put nothing let me put a camera camera in. that way and, you, and you're welcome <clears> to <throat> the video and everything you can have a copy whatever <clears throat> i want to I, I need to clean this 